what is going on what is going on i am so happy right now i'm so happy because i am at the end of this journey with setting up youtube videos and i have about 25 i think this is this 26 one now but this has been a wonderful journey for me i have failed and tripped up and you know gained equilibrium slipped up again and you know but throughout it all god allowed me to set these videos up for you me and his glory and i really i'm just going to have a heart to heart tonight and someone requested that you know indirectly requested somewhat um, maybe they didn't request it, but I heard something, you know, in that, in their voice or through the message that, you know, there should be something out for singles. And I like to talk about relationships. You know, I hadn't talked about it as much as I wanted to because, you know, God led me in another direction on here. But I'm going to talk about singles, single, single, singles. There are so many singles out there, so many singles out there, and I definitely understand what it's like to be single and desperate for someone desperate for affection and i don't mean desperate in a bad way i mean desperate like you really really want something that's what desperate means you really really want something and i understand how it feels oh my gosh let me tell you a little something about me oh i'm so glad that i didn't give myself to these different guys that i had crushes on i used to love to have crushes okay i enjoyed having them the guy didn't even have to like me back we didn't even have we didn't even have to have a relationship but i like them i loved liking them from afar like for example i saw someone cute my heart would jump almost out of my chest and i would approach them being aggressive and desperate the way i was but in that way it was a kind of bad desperate because i really wanted a relationship and if they didn't like me then i was like hey next you know my feelings would be hurt but i would move on to the next guy wasting my time and there's some people out there who are taking things into their own hands, trying to find someone, you know, not asking God, you know, to lead you or, you know, help you to be patient or nothing. But you're consciously and subconsciously and unconsciously looking for someone. The problem is we don't want to wait. And we don't know, but, you know, sometimes we could be wasting our time by looking on our own. As a matter of fact, all the time we're wasting our time. It's just like turning out all the lights in a room and you take off running. Where are you going? You are going nowhere. You might hit a wall. As a matter of fact, it's a promise. You just might hit a wall, you know. If you're in an empty room and you just take off running in a black room, you know, where are you going to go? So I understand how it feels. And finally, I got this epiphany. I was like, okay, epiphany is kind of like, you know, a moment where you're like, oh, yeah. I got one of those and I realized, you know, I am wasting all this time. All these months have gone by. You know, I'm not that old. I'm only, right now, I'm only 24 years old. All those months went by and a couple of years. And I was like, you know, I don't even have to do this. I believe I'm wasting my time. Every guy I meet is turning me down. The phone lines, the chat lines, going up to guys in clubs or whatever, trying to make stuff happen, you know, asking what they got on the test and asking for the email address, being different instead of asking for the numbers. What am I doing? What am I doing? And the Lord opened my eyes. And there was this feeling over me. You know how people say there's this voice? There's this feeling over me and it said, you need to seek God. Let him pick your man. Because, you know, I, and I prayed, and I prayed over and over. I was like, Lord, please don't let that man be ugly. Please, please don't let him be ugly. We have got to trust God. Then I didn't have trust. I mean, it was a whole bunch of stuff that I was trying to work on with myself. That I, you know, that doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. There was a whole bunch of stuff that I need to work on for myself. There we go. And I wanted a man to fill my voids. And the only person that could fill my voids was God. And is God. And that's the problem with a lot of singles now. They're not content with their relationship with God. They're not content with it just being them and God. They want someone else. You know, they want someone else to be that God. And you know, it's not exactly, you're not saying, oh, I want him to be my God. But if you are seeking someone to fill your void instead of God, then that person or anything that you're seeking is God. Okay, that's your God. That's what I mean. You don't want an out of God. The Bible mentions that, you know, uh, th that God said there should be no other gods before me. You know, we need to make wise decisions, okay? Now, 
being a single person that's the time where you strengthen yourself and you strengthen your relationship with God be patient don't be so desperate whether it's good or bad desperate let God fill the voids be patient that's the main thing we don't want to be patient for anything you know you can overcome this desperation and you can overcome this yearning this want to be hugged by a man or a woman you can get over this by allowing God to fill your voids and all you have to do as I mentioned in these videos is talk to God and trust him he's not going to give you the worst he's going to give you the best okay so just trust him to give you the love that you're seeking ask him to fill all the gaps in you because if you are seeking a man as a woman you know and for men if you're seeking a woman and you're not talking to God there there will be no straight path for you okay it only leads to destruction now your relationship may last for a couple years and maybe five or maybe ten but then it's going to end because if it's not for God it's short-lived okay God gives us things that are everlasting of course everything on this earth is temporary however he will give us things that will be long-lasting and we don't have to worry about failure how to know if someone is for you I'll mention that in another note because I don't want this to be too long but trust God let him fill your voids stop looking for a man men stop looking for a woman if you haven't talked to God for direction don't run in a black room you know let there be light in there so trust God Give yourselves to him. Be naked before him. Open yourselves to him and let him know how you feel. Don't be ashamed to tell God what you want. If you want somebody with the big behind or, you know, uh, wavy hair or whatever, talk to him. Tell him, you know, you don't even know. You just might get it, you know. Trust him. Be open with him. Be humble. Talk to him. Let him know what you want now. It's so much that you can say to God. Let him know what you want. That's all I can say. And I hope that everything goes well with you. If you trust him, everything will fall together. It has fallen together for me and it has fallen together for other people. May God bless you. And if you want to, you can send me a message and, you know, to get that direct word from the Lord. You know, sometimes um, people need to have that direct message. You know, this is very broad and open for everyone. But if you want a direct message, definitely send me a message and, you know, we can talk from there. Okay, take care. God bless.